Ladies and gentlemen, giving the valedictory speech this morning is Leong Hai Ken, a graduate of the diploma course in mechanical engineering. May I now call upon Hai Ken to deliver the farewell address on behalf of the new graduate. Hai Ken, please. A very good morning, guest speaker, Mr. Barry Sim, principal and CEO, Mr. Tan Chun Xian. Ladies and gentlemen, graduating class of 2013, I am deeply honored to be given this privilege to speak on this beautiful day in this beautiful school we've called home for the past three years. There was a week, there was a day a few weeks ago, I had to come back to SP. Being back was a trip of nostalgia more than anything. I was lucky, and I got to ride on an empty train, and therefore had the full view of the landscape that flashed by. Arriving at SP, perhaps for the last time as a student, I walked into SP trying to remember and observe as much as I could. Walking past the auditorium, I saw a group of students taking part in what obviously is an orientation camp. I thought of our own orientation and how just three years ago, we were the new Blur kids. Well, I'm still Blur now. But I'm sad that my time as an SP student has expired. But also excited for a fresh sheets, for I am sure that they're here for an awesome three years. Studying hard wouldn't have been possible if not for the friends we studied hard with. I remember a time during machining class where I overcut one of my components. But guess what? The whole class of 1B24 stayed back to help me finish my job. They might not remember it, but it remains one of my best memories. Thank you, friends, all of you, for being there for me. You know, the sound of construction is something that we as SP students have grown accustomed to hearing. I can almost guarantee that at any one time, something somewhere would be torn down and rebuilt. The latest being one of our MAE workshops. It is with a hint of sadness that a building containing so many memories has to be torn down. But it is in this spirit of continual improvement that I would bring with me as we graduate and transition from being students to alumni. Now that we've received our diplomas, we stand ready to move on to the next phase in our lives. Really, not only as individuals with the acquired knowledge to do our jobs or go to university, but also as thinking young adults ready to make our mark in society. I am proud to say that I am ready to move on, ready to leave the protective arms of SP to tackle whatever challenges that might lay ahead of me. But I am even more proud to say that the reason why I am ready is due to a dedicated group of people here that have acted way beyond their call of duty to grow me to who I am today. I remember numerous times where I had to go overseas for two weeks at a stretch. An example would be my robot Boston competition. My teachers were so worried that I would be missing out on two full weeks of class and maybe falling behind on work. They, therefore, arranged special lessons just for me. All this done just so that I could go for the competition with peace of mind, knowing that my studies would not be affected. For always being there to go the extra mile for us. From the bottom of my heart, from our hearts, we thank you. There is, of course, another group of people that we owe our thanks to, our families. Thank you, Daddy, Mami, Mei Mei, Tai Kao Fu, Tai Yi, for being here to see me graduate, for keeping my soup warm long after I'm supposed to be home, and also for supporting me in every single decision I made. I love you. Graduating class of 2013, we hold in our hands diplomas. Diplomas we have all worked so hard to achieve. Worked hard with friends, 
faculty, and family. People may, people may see us as alumni from now on, but please remember, once an SP student, always an SP student. Thank you.